Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. The tool that you need for this operation is a 1.5 millimeter hex Phillips screwdriver, um, flathead screwdriver, and a tweezer. First off, there are two hex screw that you need to remove underneath the device holder. Once those two screws are out, you need to use a small flathead screwdriver and gently pop out those uh, plastic cover underneath the uh, device holder. You'll see right there uh, on both sides, kind of gently pry them out. Um, they just kind of have a little clip on the back, um, just kind of pry them out easily. Once the two plastic pieces out, you need to use the same flathead screwdriver and kind of gently pry out the back plate plastic cover to expose the circuitry and the battery. And this is the cover that covers the um, USB port. So now you need to remove two white Phillips screws underneath that, uh, on that corner, on, uh, underneath that little uh, top plastic cover there. So you need to remove that using Phillips screwdriver. Once the two uh, Phillips screwdrivers uh, loosen and remove, you gently remove the top plate. As you notice, the joystick parts, they are not connecting to any wires. They actually housing underneath that top plate. So just pull them out. You don't have to do anything. Just put it to the side and gently remove the clear screen uh, cover of the LCD display. Next, you need to remove the LCD screen plate. To do that, you'll see the white uh, ribbon cable uh, clip that you need to remove that ribbon cable from the clip itself. So that need to be really, really careful at this point. Take your time, don't rush, because this ribbon cable is very fragile. You unlock the clip, and kind of use your little screwdriver, kind of push it out gently. Um, you don't want to tear or break that ribbon cable. That is um, important. So after the ribbon cable is out, you need to remove six uh, Phillips screws off the top of that plate. So you just take your time, remove all six of them out of there. Then the whole top plate will come loose and you can kind of take them out and expose the bottom circuitry. So all the screws are out. You need to carefully remove that little white a black and white um, connector there uh, on that board in order to remove the top. So carefully remove that. That's a tiny one. Then you also have, have to remove the uh, big wire harness connector there as well. Just use your flathead screwdriver and try to pry it up. Remember the orientation of the different color uh, wires there so when you put it back you know um, the correct way to put it back typically it has key um, uh, mark on them so that if you put it the wrong way it won't work but that just uh, be careful when you pull it out anything that you pull it out make sure you put it back the way uh, it came out 
And once that top board comes out, just don't pull it too far because there's another ribbon cable that tied to your uh, LCD display. So you don't want to pull it too far and break that cable. So once you lean the board back, you can expose the bottom uh, circuit board there. You can actually see the 2.4 gig uh, antenna cable and also the 5.8 gig antenna cable in there. So my goal is to get in there and uh, push it down a little bit because uh, it came loose. So that's how you expose the bottom board. So this controller, it seems like the top board is the circuitry for your LCD uh, to get to the bottom. A radio board you have to remove the top plate and now you expose the bottom circuit board which you can do uh, any mod modification of your antenna cable and such in the future. So now I just uh, put them all back together as you can see, everything is all back. Uh, look just like it was before. Uh, hopefully that everything still works at this point. Um, I'm gonna power it up and see uh, if it's still functioning. Seems like everything is working like it was before and thanks for watching.